Welcome back. Well, let's get talking to another company, Century Plyboard. The stock is down around 2%. That's the other company that we're focusing on now. It has seen margins contract in Q2 across segments. This is owing to a sharp increase in raw material costs. Remember, the company had told us earlier that they expect margins to pick up in the second half of the year and that growth for the full year should top around 15%. Keshav Bajanka, who is the executive director at Century Plyboard, joins in now to discuss the numbers. Hi, Mr. Bajanka. Thank you very much uh, for taking the time out. You know, the first question has to be on margins. You had guided for some weakness in margins in Q2. Is the worst of the raw material worries over for you? Are all of your high-cost materials exhausted now? Um, so, definitely things do look like they are improving. You know, chemical costs have come down substantially. Having said that, there is still some pressure on timber prices. But uh, if we remove the, the one-time impairment loss that we had in this quarter, we've actually been able to do 17.3% of uh, uh, overall EBITDA margins, which I think is far better than what we had actually expected. All right, 17.3% if you adjust for the imp impairment. But you, uh, you know, spoke about timber and phenol. Can you give us a sense of how they've played out? I mean, how do they compare with the highs that we saw in the second quarter? Chemical prices have corrected by more than 10% across all chemicals. In certain chemicals like melamine, they've corrected by more than 20%. Uh, but having said that, timber prices are still a little volatile. Yes, they have come off slightly recently, to you know, 3-4%. But overall, I think definitely going forward, we should be able to get uh, better results. And I think we'll be able to increase EBITDA margins overall. Okay, when you talk about an improvement in EBITDA margins, can you give us a number? What kind of margins are you looking at in second half? Q2, we have done 17.3%. Uh, if you adjust for uh, for uh, the impairment, so I, I definitely believe we'll be able to do better than this. All right, uh, you're guided for about 15 to 17% going forward. So let's see how that comes about. But uh, what's the sense of demand on the ground? I mean, a lot of companies are talking about some sort of sluggishness. Can you give us a sense? We had guided for 3,500 plus for the current year on a base of 3,000 last year. Um, having said that, uh, you see, we have already grown by close to 17% over last year's base. If you just look at uh, the, the increase in turnover over the first two quarters. So going forward, I'm very confident that, you know, we should at least try to clock in close to double digit growth for H2. Uh, if not, then at least high single digit growth. So overall, we should be well uh, well above our estimate of 20% growth for the year. Okay, let's talk about your expansion plans now because you have announced a fair amount of capex in MDF as well. Could you give us a sense of how MDF prices have been? What is the sustainable realization right now and outlook going forward? No, so I think you're talking about uh, 550 crore capex uh, in uh, Chennai that we have announced yesterday. That is related to particle board, which is a separate product category uh, as compared to MDF. Currently, our uh, particle board capacity is uh, at 100% utilization with very robust EBITDA margins. And uh, going forward, considering that particle board is going to be a strong uh, growth driver for the entire wood panel segment, I think that, you know, uh, it was high time that uh, that we froze on the capacity. The delay was actually due to a paucity of land, but uh, the government of Tamil Nadu has been very, very supportive and uh, we have purchase the land for a plant now. So I think, uh, uh, God willing, within a couple of years, we should be coming up with uh, the, the particle board capacity. Okay, all right. Uh, you know, you have referred about um, your market share being around 5 to 6%. Just wanted to know, is there any kind of considerable movement in that? Uh, I think we have definitely gained market share. Uh, the 5 6% that you're talking about is in the plywood category. And in the plywood category, uh, you know, we are 25% plus of the organized market. Now, as the share of the organized is growing, I think that our share will definitely keep increasing. Uh, hopefully, going forward, you'll see a substantial uptake in uh, the, the market share uh, for Century in plywood. Our Myanmar unit, we've already taken uh, impairment on that. Uh, you know, the, the situation is very challenging in Myanmar at this point in time. Uh, so, uh, because we are unable to run the unit, uh, it, it at one point was our most profitable unit, but now, considering the, 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 the macro scenario in that country, we have taken a decision to dispose of that unit. 
All right, we take that point, uh, you will dispose that unit and it will curtail losses by about 5 to 6 crores on an annual basis for you as well. Uh, thanks a lot, Kesha, for joining in. Uh, wish you good luck for the remainder of this year as well. We're looking forward to margins expanding and uh, the double-digit growth that you're guiding for in the second half. Uh, take a short break, come back, we talk about a bunch of stocks which are buzzing around.